اور اس وقت آپ وفاقی وزیر قانون اعظم نظیر تارڑ کی گفتگو سن رہے ہیں بین الاقوامی میڈیا سے اعظم نظیر تارڑ اس وقت گفتگو کر رہے ہیں بٹ ان آرڈر ٹو برنگ انڈیپینڈنس اینڈ دا ٹرانسپیرنسی ان دا اینڈ دا کریڈیبلٹی ٹو دی پروسیس آف الیکشنس دا فریمرز آف دی کانسٹیٹیوشن انیشلی پرووائڈڈ دا دا کنونشنل میکنزم دیٹ دا کیئر ٹیکر شیل بی فرام دا سیم گورنمنٹ بٹ لیٹر ود دا پیسنگ ٹائمز اینڈ لرننگ فرام ڈفرینٹ ایکسپیرینسز ان ٹوینٹی ٹین دی فائنل ڈرافٹ فار کانسٹیٹیوشنل امینڈمنٹ واز ٹیبلڈ اینڈ اے کمپلیٹ اسکیم واز انٹروڈیوسڈ ان دی کانسٹیٹیوشن آف پاکستان وچ از آرٹیکل ٹو ٹوینٹی فور اینڈ ٹو ٹوینٹی فور اے آف دی کانسٹیٹیوشن وچ پرووائڈس اینڈ گیوز اے اسکیم ریڈ ود الیکشن ایکٹ آف ٹوینٹی سیونٹین وچ سیز دیٹ دی الیکشنز ٹو دی جنرل الیکشنز ان دا کنٹری شیل بی کنڈکٹیڈ ون اینڈ دا سیم ڈے اینڈ الیکشن شیل بی ہیلڈ انڈر دی ڈائریکٹ کنٹرول اینڈ سپر وی این آف الیکشن کمیشن آف پاکستان وچ از اے کانسٹیٹیوشنل باڈی کریشن آف کانسٹیٹیوشن ہیونگ کمپلیٹ اتھارٹی اینڈ ڈومین اوور دی پروسیس آف الیکشن دیر از اے پروویژن ان دا کانسٹیٹیوشن آرٹیکل ٹو ون ایٹ تھری وچ سیز دیٹ اٹ از دی الیکشن کمیشن ہو ہیز بین ویسٹڈ ود دا ڈیوٹی اینڈ پروگیٹیو ٹو کنڈکٹ جنرل الیکشنز اور by elections in the country and to ensure that elections are conducted impartially, fairly, transparently, justly and all corrupt practices are guarded with. Uh, that provision has also been interpreted by the courts in many cases and every time it has been resolved that it is the election commission which in its best judgment shall ensure that elections in the country are conducted in a fair, free, transparent manner. So the controversy started from the point when the election commission uh, sought date for appointment of elections. Uh, there is confusion that in case the assembly is dissolved upon the advice of the prime minister, who shall appoint the date? Because governor, if it is not instrumental in the dissolution, like in the Punjab, the assembly was dissolved on the advice of President, uh, uh, chief minister of Punjab. The relevant article says that on the upon the advice the governor shall dissolve the assembly and if he fails or if he considers not to dissolve or if he is inactive then after the lapse of 48 hours assembly would be deemed to be dissolved so this is the point of controversy from where this entire the litigation pandora was open the governor punjab did not acted upon the device and the assembly was dissolved as per the flux of time like the on the passage of 48 hours. So the first round of litigation was regarding the fixing of date, that who to fix the date. The matter was brought before Lahore High Court. Lahore High Court, after hearing the parties, directed the Election Commission to appoint a date after consultation. And the governor filed an appeal in the Lahore High Court, which was pending. In KP, the governor was in process of consultation and a red petition was also pending in KP. When the a two member bench of Supreme Court of Pakistan, if you may recall, while hearing a petition uh, regarding the removal or the transfer of a police officer, they took it so seriously and they considered that elections shall be held in a stipulated period, which is 90 days, and the time was passing through. So that the the bench headed by Justice Jazu Lesson, flanked by Justice Mazhar Nakvi, referred the matter to the Chief Justice of Pakistan to to examine it and, if appropriate, uh, take Suomoto notice by constituting a bench. Pursuant there to a nine-member bench was constituted by the Chief Justice of Pakistan, which assumed hearing. Uh, in the initial hearings, two honorable members passed judicial orders. They recorded their separate opinions, and they said that since the matters are pending before the high courts, and since 184.3, constitutional provision 184.3, which vests jurisdiction in the Supreme Court to take suo moto notices or exercise its own constitutional jurisdiction is a concurrent jurisdiction with the high courts. So it is, it, the case was not found to be fit for exercise of that jurisdiction and it was found appropriate if the high courts seized with the matter already may continue with the proceedings. Uh, 
they recorded their separate opinions. In the meanwhile, the bench was uh, reconstituted by the Honorable Chief Justice because, meanwhile, an application was filed by political parties uh, requesting that two honorable judges had already expressed their opinions and there were certain other backgrounds uh, regarding their conduct as judges. So they may recuse themselves uh, from the proceedings, which is not uh, 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 something which is uh, happening first time, I would say. It has, we have experienced so many occasions where objections were raised or request was made to the honorable judges that they have some conflict of interest or they have expressed opinion already in their, that case. So they may recuse two honorable judges who initially referred the matter to the chief justice they voluntarily recused themselves. Um, meanwhile, two honorable judges had already uh, 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 expressed their opinions through uh, separate orders. The matter was then placed before a bench of five honorable judges of Supreme Court. And at the conclusion of hearing, uh, the one view is that the petitions were accepted like the case was disposed of with majority by three against two directing the election commission to fix date in Punjab in consultation with president of Pakistan and date in KP in consultation with the governor of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. However, in the same order or judgment, the two honorable judges concurred with their two learned colleagues who had already dismissed those petitions. So that is the point from where this legal controversy actually started. Uh, the government was on record, I being the law minister uh, and the attorney general, the then attorney general for Pakistan, uh, we expressed our view soon after the uh, announcement of decision that this, those proceedings were disposed of uh, or, or dismissed by a majority of four against three. Because two honorable judges said that uh, these petitions are not maintainable, lack jurisdiction, and the matters be placed before high courts for appropriate orders. Those two opinions were concurred to, followed by two judges sitting in the five-member bench, and they put footnotes as well to clarify the situation that under the dispensation, under the scheme of law, under the court practice, such orders can be passed. So it was a decision taken by the government and many segments of the lawyer community and, and the society as a decision dismissing the petitions and referring the matter back to high courts, which also the proprietary demand that if the independent high courts were seized with the matters, they should have proceeded with the same. However, the the decision given by three honorable judges, the Chief Justice and two other members, that decision was 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 presented as order of the court. So once again, the controversy erupted, the which decision to be acceded to. The government took the stance, the parliament as well, that the decision is of the four judges, which is majority decision. When matter was re-agitated before the Supreme Court of Pakistan through petition filed by Pakistan Tahrik e Insaf, their speakers of the outgoing assemblies, at the outset this objection was taken by the principal law officer, the Attorney General for Pakistan, uh, reminding the Honorable Court that a larger bench may kindly be constituted to resolve this controversy first, because it is a jurisdictional important legal question which has to be answered by the by by a larger bench larger bench means they they requested for full court and in past we have at many occasions uh, uh, saw that the the entire supreme court sat together in a full court bench and they decided the matters especially when the matter is of some national importance that request was not uh, uh, exceeded to uh, the political parties who were previously part of the proceedings, uh, which include Pakistan People's Party, Pakistan Muslim League N, and Jamiyat Ulma Islam, they also filed applications that they be implemented as party because they did have the parliamentary pr presence in the uh, dissolved provincial assemblies. And if it is a question of public importance, if it is a question of enforcement of fundamental rights, it is the fundamental right of the party, political party, to take part in the process of election. Uh, and, and they also represent a large number of their members. Those constitute public at large. Uh, surprisingly, their 
applications were not entertained. They also raised certain objections requested for constitution of a full court, barring those two honorable judges who had already voluntarily opted to recuse. Uh, but all, despite all that, the the five-member bench resumed uh, uh, hearing. In the meanwhile, another order was passed by a three-member bench of Supreme Court of Pakistan, headed by the senior pune judge of the Supreme Court, Justice Qazi Faizi Sa, uh, who handed down a verdict that since the manner in which the jurisdiction under 184.3 of the Constitution, which is the suo moto or original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court, uh, that manner has been under discussion in, in full court meetings and by the different segments of society, including the political factions and the law societies or the bar councils, bar associations. The judgment also directed the office of the Supreme Court that matters uh, uh, pending before the Supreme Court arising out of 184, three proceedings may also not be listed for hearing or may be halted in the meanwhile. And a full court meeting was desired by the, by the bench that a full court meeting of honorable judges be convened to resolve this issue. Such meeting was also convened back in 2019 and these issues were discussed for framing of rules, but unfortunately thereafter no progress was made. That judicial order was also overturned by an executive circular issued by the registrar office, upon which a show cause notice was also issued to the registrar of the Supreme Court that why should he not be removed and, and, and the displayer was shown by the head of the bench. Confronted with the situation one after another, two honorable judges, part of five member bench who was seized with the matter, hearing the case, they decided to, to, to leave the bench, that they, they decided in their own wisdom that they should not sit on the bench unless until the orders of, the judicial orders of three member bench are not complied with. They actually, by dissociating themselves with the bench, uh, they uh, acknowledged and not only acknowledged, but they followed the, 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 the dictat uh, laid down by or the orders passed by a three member bench headed by the senior pioneer judge that all proceedings arising out of 184.3 may kindly be halted in the meanwhile. At that juncture as well, the request was repeated by Attorney General for Pakistan that there are two serious constitutional legal issues involved in the case. One, whether it is a judgment by majority of four against three or the previous judgment was by a majority of three against two. This matter, the very important constitutional question needs to be addressed by the court and for that matter, a full court may only be constituted and if not an alternative, uh, the remaining judges, which are six in number of the Supreme Court, who were not part of that nine-member bench, they may be, the bench may be constituted, and the matter may be referred to them to settle this controversy. This request was also not acknowledged and turned down by the three-member bench. Uh, the other, of course, was the presence of the the the, the, the judgment handed down by senior Pune judge, which uh, directed office uh, that cases involving question of uh, under 184.3 may not be listed or, for hearing. And question was raised that in order to overturn that judgment, a judicial process has to be evolved, that a larger bench be constituted or matter be referred back to that bench for final adjudication. And it was not a matter to be dealt with by a, a executive circular. وفاقی وزیر قانون آزم نظیر تارڈ اس وقت میڈیا سے گفتگو کر رہے ہیں دوسری جانب علی محمد خان پاکستان تحریک انصاف کے رہنما اس وقت سپریم کورٹ کے باہر میڈیا سے گفتگو کر رہے ہیں پہ عمل نہ کریں آرٹیکل اور نوے دن میں الیکشن نہ کریں صرف ایک نقطہ نظر کا فرق تھا کہ کچھ جب صاحبان کہہ رہے تھے کہ نیچے لاہور ہائی کورٹ میں کیس ہے پہلے اس کو آنے دیں باقی سب ایک پیچ پہ ہیں کہ الیکشن نوے دن میں ہو تو میں سیاست کے ان شریر بچوں کو کہنا چاہتا ہوں کہ بھاگنا نہیں ہے الیکشن سے بھاگنا نہیں ہے آپ جتنا بھاگیں گے آئین اور قانون آپ کے پیچھے آئے گا اور خیبر پختون خواہ کے پی ڈی ایم کی لیڈرشپ کو کہنا چاہتا ہوں کہ الیکشن تو کرانا پڑے گا پشتوں میں سمجھا رہا ہوں تخت بنا بہت شکریہ پاکستان زندہ بات اور دس سال کے بعد وہ مقروض ہو چکا ہے اس کی کیا وجہ ہے 
और दूसरा इसी केस की समाप्त के दौरान जो आप कह रहे हैं कि नज़रिया दुरुस्त को दफन कर दिया गया जब चीफ साहब ये कह रहे थे कि सियासी जमातें आपस में बैठ जाएँ आपस में बैठ जाएँ तारीख तय कर रहे हैं अगर सियासी जमातें बैठ के कोई और तारीख तय कर लेते तो वो फिर क्या एंगल उसको दिया जाता उसको नज़रिया दुरुस्त कहा जाता अगर सियासी जमातें बैठ के जून के आगे की तारीख तय कर लेते उससे लीगल कवर कैसे मिलता उससे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कवर कैसे मिलता देखिए बहुत अच्छा सवाल है पहले सवाल का पहले जवाब दूंगा खैबर पख्तूनख्वा वो सूबा है जो दहशत गर्दी के सायों में रहा मुश्किल का शिकार रहा आप खैबर पख्तूनख्वा के अवाम में जाके पूछें कि वो पिछले नौ साल में उनकी ज़िंदगी बेहतर हुई है ख़राब हुई है क्या खून बहना कम हुआ है या बड़ा है हमारे दौर में जो सबसे बड़ा मसला जब हम आए दहशत गर्दी का था एक ड्रोन अटैक इमरान खान साहब ने नहीं होने दिया अमन की बहाली की तरफ लेके गए सियासी कारकुन एन पी के हमारे भाई हैं दोस्त हैं सियासी हमारी मुखालफत सही वो निकल नहीं सकते थे बेचारे आज अलहमदिल्ला वहाँ सियासी आज़ादियाँ हैं ए एन पी पीपल पार्टी तरीक इंसाफ जमीयत जमात सब कंपेन कर रहे हैं वहाँ आम आदमी को एम्पावर किया है मेरिट पे एक बच्चे को अगर जॉब मिले हाँ गलतियाँ होंगी अली मोहम्मद खान तो भी होंगी कर रहे हैं आपको एक बार फिर विफाक वजी कानून आजम नजीर तारड़ की गुफ्तु सुनवाते हैं and it would be in fitness of things that co- if if at even that stage the court considers for referring the matter to a full court barring those two judges who have already recused themselves the matter was also discussed at length at the floor of the parliament which is the the uh, uh, the proper forum to discuss important national questions including uh, the the any legal issues being faced by the nation or by the government or having strong nexus with with the national affairs and the national assembly also passed a resolution in the meanwhile requesting the supreme court of pakistan to consider under the law the propriety principle the the procedures as well as the 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 the, the good practices and to ensure transparency and independence that the matter may be taken up in the full court Uh, that resolution has also not been given any weightage by the court anyway so faced with the situation the matter is now under discussion in the parliament uh, to great extent it's being discussed here and there that's why i find it appropriate to come to you uh, answer your questions if any uh, i just uh, opened up the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the topic with basic history and details so any question uh, Uh, so, uh, this is uh, Razi 